Hello YouTube and welcome back in this video, which is a quick video and a simple video. And sometimes the simple videos are the most important videos. And the reason that this is a very important video is because I'm talking about cleaning the oil passages. I have all different types of brushes, have them in solvent, I have them hanging in the, in the back. And I'm going to physically run a brush down every passageway, all the way in and all the way back out. You'll see the stuff that comes out. This has been hot tanked and brushed before. After it was buffed, it got brushed again. It's gonna go into the spray washer for a final wash, and I'm gonna brush it again. The reason it's really important to get everything out is because you don't want any of that stuff in the oil galleys to get on your bearings. If it was bored, you could have boring chips from the boring bar. Um, all the machining processes could leave little spots in there. But if the engine sat for a long time, this being a Thunderbird, it would, uh, sat for a real long time and it had crud in there that was packed. And if we hadn't removed all those oil galley plugs and ran a brush through them, there's no way we could have really gotten it really clean. Also on his FE, there's a plug right here. There's a plug right here. There's a plug right there. FEs have a lot of plugs. This plug goes over, or this hole, should I say, goes over to the oil galley for the lifters on one side. This one on this side goes this way. This one up here goes down to the cam bearings. Every one of the cam bearings have a hole that goes to the mains. There's a lot of holes all in here that we need to physically brush. So like I said, it's a simple video, but very important. Um, we expect the machine shop to do that, and for the most part they do. But what if they have an entry-level guy who just started, and he didn't brush them? It is the engine assembler's responsibility to make sure all those oil galley holes are clean. If you're partnered with a great machine shop that you know are looking out for you, the better relationship you have, that's awesome. That's why you want a good partnership with the machine shop because they're looking out for you. The point being, all you need to be is let down one time and it be, it's the responsibility is the assembler. You may have sent this out in the shop. They may have forgotten something in there. You assemble the engine. You can't go back to the shop and go, hey, you know, I got some scratches on my bearings. It had to have come from the oil gallery. No, no, no. The engine assembler's responsibility. But I encourage you to partner with the good shop that that's not here nor there, but I'm here. So I'm going to brush these simple video. Don't rely on somebody else to look out for you. Um, do, be proactive. Do this yourself. If you're at home doing this, buy your set of brushes, eBay, um, buy your set of brushes and do this yourself just before final assembly. When you have it on a stand and you're going to wash everything, physically run a brush through every hole. Hit it with some hot water, hot soap, and start assembling. You, it will never, ever, ever um, bite you in the butt. So don't overlook a simple process, something real simple, um, something you can do yourself. I can't say it enough. I think I've said it enough. Clean, 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 clean. Tip of the day, run a brush, a physical brush through every hole. That's it. Simple, quick. Something you can do at home and it's going to protect you and protect your bearings. Okay, as for me, I'm going to finish brushing these and get it in the spray washer and get back to work. And we'll see you on the next one. This is the bolt hole for the front cam plate, but it also it also goes into the distributor hole. So right in here, there's a small hole that feeds oil over to this bolt hole, 
and then it feeds the oil right into the distributor hole. So once again, every single hole, not all engines have this hole. Yeah. All right, if you can see there's a hole right here and there's also another hole right here. And that's what feeds the distributor shaft with oil. There's one that goes here. There's one of the two bolts that hold the plate on, but it's also the same hole that's going over to the distributor hole. That's what I'm talking about. There's that old hole I'm talking about. It's the inside. You might not be able to see it. Sorry if you can't. Can you see the brush in there? But it does feed oil to the distributor to keep it lubricated. All right, I've lifted the block up. This is all honing oil. It come right out of the hone. Like I said, it's gonna go into the spray washer. This is just something that I do, 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 and you should do as well is brush all of these little holes. I lost the brush, here it is. And I have, I have different sized brushes, thicker ones, thinner ones, even the ones that get worn out, you save them for the little bitty holes, like that little hole up here in the cam that I was just talking about, the one that oils the distributor. This one actually is drilled and it goes up higher past the cam bearing. Go ahead and get up in there. And then I'm gonna hit it with hot soap and water when I wash it. And I wanna make sure that I wanna wash all of these holes um, and make sure there's no bristles that a brand new one can leave you some bristles at first. But we're gonna do that when we wash it, the final wash, and I'm gonna make sure I blow everything out. This one on the back of an FE goes straight and goes down, so you gotta hit it from, from both sides. Stop it, people. And I know some of y'all are thinking. All right. It doesn't really take long, and if you make it part of your cleaning process, have your cleaning guy that you're going to train, have your assembly guy if you're a one-man shop like me or a two-man shop or three-man shop, then um, it gets easier. But after a while, I just have, as I'm going through the shop from the machining area, honing area, this way, I always stop right here by this parts cleaner. And this is the procedure that I just do right here. You get used to doing this. And it's not difficult. Don't get all, you know, like, oh no, another process for my shop. You can do this. This is the one from the pump that's going all the way up the center of the block, all the way to here. So I'm physically gonna run a brush through every single hole. All right, what's left is the back. All right, we have these in the back still to do, and I've done them from the front, and now I'm gonna do them from the back. This little short one is the one I was just talking about that goes from right here to here. So that one you gotta just hit it from the top and then from the back. I'm using just solvent. You could use brake clean. You could use diesel. Do not use gasoline. That's back in the old days, too flammable. Plus in, inside of a shop, you really want to, wouldn't want to do that. Um, use whatever you want. Okay. That didn't take long. I ran a brush through every single hole. I'm comfortable. I'm gonna take it out to the spray washer and be done. All right, that didn't take long, not long at all. I'm comfortable now. I've physically ran a brush through every single hole, top, bottom, side, front, back, um, good to go. Brush everything. It's still gonna get washed one more time with hot soap and water. At that point, I'm gonna blow air through everything. I like to take a flashlight and look in every hole anyway, but I'm over the top, make sure there's nothing in there. Tip of the day, clean, 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 and don't rely on somebody else to clean for you when you're the guy that's responsible. If you're gonna be, you're gonna man up and build your own engine, man up and clean your own block. 
I don't know if that's a good tip of the day. Maybe that's going to be at the end. I can edit it. I don't know. We'll see you in the next one.